So I'm excited to hear of some more details um, on the economic response plan and with specifically with regards to self-employed individuals and individuals out there that aren't eligible for EI. So this is what we know, this was just released yesterday. Um, this benefit, so prior was called the emergency care benefit and the emergency support benefit. It has now been replaced into one benefit called the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. And so here's the criteria. You have to have been affected by the virus in isolation, caring for a, ma a member um, who's currently sick with the virus, or caring for children at home um, due to school closures. So most of that I was finding self-employed people weren't falling into. So here's the good news. It is now covering workers who still have employment, but are not being paid because there's currently not sufficient work and their employer has asked them not to come to work. So this could be a lot of contract people or, um, you know, say you work in a salon or something like that, or healthcare or massage, those types of businesses. And it also now includes wage earners and self-employed individuals, including contract workers, not eligible for employment benefits. So this really blankets all self-employed people. Now, someone like myself who can work from home and I'm fully functioning, um, I would not qualify, but realtors, for example, who you know can't show houses anymore and are at home, this is the program to apply for. So let's get into some more of the criteria. You have to be at least 15 years of age, a resident of Canada, and had a total income of at least $5,000 in 2019 or in the previous 12 months in applying. So this it could also fall into 2020. So those criteria, everyone is gonna, or the majority of people are going to um, be able to check the box. So that's great and easy qualifications. I really thought the income qualifications were going to be quite difficult um, to qualify for. So I was really happy to see that there's really no income qualifications. And then lastly, the, um, the worker or the self-employed individual must have ceased work due to COVID-19 for at least 14 consecutive days. So again, we're probably just on the brink of the 14 days. I'd have to count it out, but um, most people have satisfied that or they're just starting their 14 days, you know, last Monday. So that won't take long to satisfy this 14 days because everybody is asked to um, stay home. And the benefit is going to be $2,000 per month for four months and so if you apply this program will be available from march 15th up until october the 3rd um, so even if you haven't applied yet and you know you're still trying to work and figure things out you can still apply at a later date the other big um, benefit to this is that there's an online application which isn't out until april early april we don't even have a date but there's an online app um, apparently you can do it through an automated phone line or through a toll-free number so and um, government has also stated that you should get this income into your bank account within 10 days of application so i really think it's going to be self-assessed i i don't really see humans um, checking the applications because to have it hit your bank account within 10 days um, is a very quick turnaround.